Guess what? 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 Movement. <laughs> right? Yeah. Let me say something about this watch. Okay. The movement watch, everywhere I go, I wear it. I was driving in the street the other day, mm -hmm. and I get honk honk, and I go, it's George Clooney. Get the fuck out. You wait, look at me right now. George Clooney honked you. Yeah, he goes honk honk. Okay. I look over. It's George Clooney. And I was gonna, I thought he was going to say, I think you're funny. Oh, you know, th throw out one of those. The classics, right? the classics. The classics. Yeah. And he goes, what is, what watch? Get out of here. I go, what? <laughs> what watch are you wearing? I go, movement. And they just drove away. Shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I have other stories like that. And then I saw him in Oceans, the new one. He's wearing the watch. He's wearing the watch. Yeah. Fuck. I was in a house, right? Yeah. I was babysitting a kid. Okay. <laughs> a little kid. Yeah. And Chris Hansen walks in out of nowhere with camera crew. Yeah. I go, I'm babysitting. This ain't no fucking predator shit. Mm-hmm. But he goes, no, we wanted to see what watch you're wearing. I go, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? You thought it was something else. Yeah, I thought it was something else. My point is, is this. They're fucking stylistic. They're slick. They're sleek, right? Tell them about it. And the watches start at $95. If you go to like Macy's or what, like Nordstrom? What are Nordstrom. They? They're like probably 400 to 500 bucks. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, get these watches. So to get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to MVMT.com slash belly. This watch is a really clean design and makes a great fashion statement. Chris Hansen, George Clooney. Now is the time to step up yeah. your watch game. Frank Zappa, who else likes it? Go to MVMT.com slash belly. Join the movement. Yeah. Anderson Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> CNN. Yeah. Keep that in CNN. mind. CNN. Yeah. What else? Five, four, three, two, oh, yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what are those? Oh, I, uh? What are those? Chicanos, bro. Oh, shit, man. Fuck, fuck bro. Fuck, man. Chicanos, bro. Chicano. Um, <laughs> yo, dude. You know what, dude? You know what, dude, bro? Yeah, man. Raiders, eh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Oakland Raiders. Yeah. What about bro, them? Uh, the Oakland. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what else? Bro. What else? That's it, bro. Okay, bro. Bye. <laughs> See you next week. Yeah. Oakland, bro. <laughs> Yo, dude, um, <laughs> yo, yo, but for real, dude, Ugh. shut up. Yes. I love you, I mean. Yo, dude, we haven't had a lot of Chicanos on the show. Oh. Mm. Mexicans. We had Al Madrigal, but he doesn't count, really. Does he count? He speaks Spanish. Does he speak Spanish? I don't know, but he doesn't look like... He, he's married to Korean woman. He's like too. a nerd Hispanic, right? But he's still Mexican. I don't know. He is Mexican. Because <laughs> he, he, he penetrates Asian. You know what I mean? He's doesn't, like a... Doesn't make you he's ambiguously less. Mexican. <laughs> okay, let's go. With, let's go. With that. Very good comic though, and uh, but we haven't had a full fl blood one in ever really. Full to be honest, with you. we got one today. Well, let me introduce everyone in the room first up. We got George. <sighs> God, George. You know what? I I made a mistake that fucking George is a pink dick because whenever I'm on stage now, somebody yells it out. Oh, is that in the audience? <laughs> George has a pink dick, and then I had to explain to the crowd that who he is, and I don't like doing that. But um, we got. My fucking girlfriend here, Kalila, and my partner here. We got here Gilbo, and then we got a very special guest, um, Jesus Trail. Yeah. Give him a round of applause. Yeah. Hey, dude, what's up? What's, what's up? up? Thanks for hey. having me. <laughs> <laughs> Real, oh voice. Real yeah. voice. Bro, I'm going to say something right now, dude. <laughs> Do I make on? fun of your look? Do you make fun of my look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. <laughs> Because let me tell you something right now, man. You don't look human at all, bro. <laughs> really? I mean, you're, when you smile, you have little chiclet teeth. Yeah. yeah. It has nothing to do with your Hispanic. No, no, yeah, no, it's yeah. not good. And then you see a lot of gums. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to get sponsored by Ringley's. <laughs> That's, That's where I want to get to in comedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you look like, um, remember back in the 50s, 40s, the circus, they used to have those pinheads? I don't know what the disease is. <laughs> you know, you kind of have half, <laughs> you know, of a pinhead. Yeah. No, but I'm being real. Like, if you were in, like... Uh, a circus in the 1950s in Mexico City. Killing it. Oh, my God. The lines would be just all, all around the corner. Mm. You Half a pace would even get in to I watch should, you. I should have went into <laughs> that instead of comedy. <laughs> what? what? I should have went into that instead of comedy. No, yeah, dude. Bro. Because here's the problem. Here's the great thing about you, dude. Not only do you have a funny look. Uh -huh. You're a funny guy. You really are a funny guy. You know how to write a joke. Oh, thanks, Yeah, man. you know who you are. 
But dude, your face, bro. Fuck. Yeah, man. It's for real, dude. Yeah, I get it all the time. I mean, oh, uh, no, what, what do they say? Yeah, what do people say? Um, <laughs> <laughs> a tear drops out. This eye. is this is the best uh, 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 roast joke I've ever heard about me. I was uh, we were going back and forth with Ian Edwards, and Ian Edwards said he's like, "Tell me why do you have the complexion of a hot black girl?" <laughs> 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 you do yeah you do you do yeah uh, yeah. yeah but it's like you can always tell how happy i am by the gum to teeth ratio you know? <laughs> yeah 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 the yeah, more yeah. gums you see it's like oh he's yeah. happy God, you got a lot of gum dude but i'm like a dog though the more wet you see my gums it's yeah. like okay he's hydrated <laughs> <laughs> see that's what i like because here's the thing dude i look at myself in the mirror right Sex and i can symbol. make fun of myself oh okay i've always been like that i'm very self-deprecating I, I don't give it. a. F I really don't give a fuck what I look like. Right. When I was younger, I did. When you know, in high school, when you're like, you look in the mirror, you go, "Oh, I don't look like Brad Pitt." Mm. <laughs> you know, that's never gonna happen. It's yeah. never. You know, you realize mm. the then, amount of pussy you're gonna get throughout your life, and it's really depressing because when you're ethnic, you're living in America, you're weird looking. Right. You think to yourself, "I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm unfuckable." Mm. Well, you don't know that there are other ways. You right. pay. You get famous. Or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. The things that I've done. You know. But my point is, is that, but I'm like that too. So I know what I look like. I like what the way I look. Self-deprecating took me a while to get into, but I've, I've, I feel like comedy is the only business. It's like, look, if, if you're a model, you start losing your hair, career's over. Game but over. in comedy, it becomes an asset. Whatever's wrong, like, my, <laughs> like my, uh, like, like talk about my fucked up teeth. I say that my bottom teeth look like downtown LA from far away. <laughs> Holy shit! It's yeah, like a skyline. It really does. It's like a skyline. You wow. gotta zoom in on this. Wow! One. Wow! Wow! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. From yeah. <laughs> there's a bank of America. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! It's like, yeah. It, like now I can't fix it because I have a joke. If I fix it, I lose oh, five shit. minutes of That's material. Five, yeah! Yeah! Don't ever fix Kinda it. Kind of like my uh, comb over. Once it started falling off, it's yeah. like ooh! Like I literally shaved off twenty mm. minutes. And now I have this <laughs> Pablo And I remember your comb over yeah, joke the comb too. Over. Yeah. Oh yeah. That would kill. Pablo it Francisco got his teeth fixed. Really? Yeah, but one day he just showed up with like you know the mask teeth. Remember oh, the movie The Mask? The perfect. They just Smoking. white. Yeah, yeah, just gigantic white <laughs> pearly teeth. You know, I don't like that. I yeah. like I like real, real. You know what? It's like I remember reading this thing. Uh, uh, ODB. Mm -hmm. When he got money, he got the grill. He didn't fix his teeth. He put the like grill over the fucked up teeth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I want to do that shit. I want to get a grill and just put it over my fucked up yeah, skyline. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just don't keep keep them. Thank keep you. Keep your teeth, dude. Here's another thing. You oh, so this is a good year for you, right? I mean, you. It's been a blessing. Well, you went to Montreal Comedy Festival. Third year in a row, yeah. Third year. You did New Faces this year or no? No, last year. The uh -huh. year before that, I went with Jeff Frost uh, for the roast battle. Right. And then uh, New Faces last year, and then I went this year. Did you did the wait, minority show or the gala show? I did a variety magazine uh, top 10 comics to watch. Ooh, fancy. who's fucking fancy in this town right now? That made my heart so happy. I texted you immediately. Yeah, I, I remember For that. I didn't text you at all. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. No, I get it. I don't give a fuck. No, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, but but Kalila's always been super Kalila, sweet. Kalila, it's appreciate fine. It. Kalila. <laughs> <laughs> My teeth get in the way, bro. Yeah, I know, bro. Kalela, man. Kalela, bro. Kalela, bro. Yeah. Kalela, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfuckers. That's how you want me to say it, huh? Uh, Thank you so much. But you've always been very supportive, and I appreciate it. That means the world to me. Mm. I mean, this business is hard as fuck. What about know? me, bro? You too, of course. Thank I mean, you. shit. The more me, right? Bobby. More, the Kalila more loves me, you, dude. Me. Kalila loves you, bro. The tiger belly you. staff. How's that? Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Good enough. So you did that, and then you have a. Uh, are you still doing that thing with Sasha Baron Cohen? That little, you have a little TV uh, thing. Yeah, yeah, we're developing. Uh, That's amazing. A, a project mm -hmm. at Four by Two. Sasha signed them, and he, they're, they're oh, doing dope. thing. Yeah, um, yeah. We're look, we're in the midst of uh, meeting with uh, showrunners, which is nice. Yeah. And it's a, uh, it's a path I've never been down, you know, before, and it's it's great. It's a good experience, whether it happens or not. I'm I'm just what, happy to be in the room, you know. You know what I love most about you, and that's why when I see you doing so well, it makes me so happy. When I go to the comedy store with Bobby, mm -hmm. you, there's always a sense of playing politics. I think yeah. everyone always generally, generally plays that game. You are the only person that I've ever met who doesn't play by those rules at all. You are just so genuinely yeah. yourself. And just genuinely no, just genuinely nice. Yeah, I that's mean, what I'm I mean, saying. Without... I've never heard anyone say a bad word about you. 
Really? Yeah. I mean, I've never seen anyone go. Oh, people make fun of your look, but like in terms of your like, <laughs> you know, in terms of you as a person, uh -huh. you're just very soft and kind. You've always been like that ever since I've known you. I mean, even since when I used to sell dope, uh, and I'm playing. Um, no, <laughs> no, yeah, you never did that. No, no. And the, here's a, here's another thing that people don't know about Hazel's Trail is is that you your parents you live with your parents, right? Yeah. Your parents are how old are they? Seventy two, seventy three. Oh, damn. and you're basically their Soul care caretaker, caretaker Soul right? Caretaker. Soul I'm the only caretaker. child of my mom and, and dad. And he lives in Long Beach. And for you guys who don't know LA very well, that's about an hour. Two hours. Two two hours in traffic to south. travel, and you travel to LA every day to every do day. comedy. Yeah, but sometimes I'm like, why are you up here so early, and I and you're up here every day? I'm like. I just drive to quote unquote work, you know. I just go to a Starbucks and freeload off their Wi-Fi and yeah, chill. Yeah. But there, because I just did a documentary that you had me on about you. It's a documentary about you caretaking your parents, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and your it, parents are old school Hispanic, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I got to show you a picture of my dad. Yeah, we, yeah. Because uh, they're they're asking for photos of my dad. When I tell you, my dad looks like. You just tell me who he looks like. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm okay. not even going to say it. It's, right, yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. obvious who you Can looks... I just guess before I even say it? Yes. Edward James Olmos. No, that's me <laughs> in oh. eighth grade. Oh, okay. oh. That's Selena's dad. So you watch Netflix, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. It's like Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobar. Right, that's what your dad looks like. It's crazy. <laughs> your dad looks, I mean, he looks like a hard worker just by, on that photo. The definition of hard work, like my dad's picture should come up. Like it, 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 this dude... Like I, like when the whole shit went down with my dad, like he got sick or whatever. Like I took over the landscaping business, so I've been like mowing lawns during the day, and then doing comedy at night, oh and God. going home taking care of my mom. And um, I mean, look at my farmer's tent; it's like through the roof. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, bad. yeah. Um, so when my dad came back, uh, you know, he went out there to help me with with the with the landscaping, and I didn't want him to work too much, so he was just kind of hanging out. And I had one of those days where like, every like I was just having a bad day. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I told my dad, I, I, I broke. I'm like, you know what? Gardening couldn't have been your dream. What was your dream? This fucking wasn't it. Yeah. You know? And he told me that it's like, I always had two to three jobs. I never had time to sleep. People have dreams if they sleep. He's like, I sacrifice so you can sleep and have a dream. And I said, Zzz. Oh, and I started God. working. I'm like, you're about to make me cry right now, dude. Oh my but, God. but that's real shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and oh he's funny God. as hell. He's funny as hell, man. He had no dreams. Huh? He didn't dream because he couldn't sleep. He wanted you to have That's dreams. That's the punchline so. of that joke, Bobby. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing, I'm laughing, I'm laughing. Sorry. Look at my teeth again. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, we're, we're back. No, my we're point back. Though, dude, that is Tiger very belly. poignant and really just a sweet thing. You know, I guess immigrants come to this country like my parents did. My dad worked a lot. Yeah. And they worked their asses off so that we can. I mean, that's primarily the reason why I got sober at such a young age is because if I was, my parents were white or whatever, and they were, or they were Asian, but they just lived here for a very long time. But I know how hard my parents work, and yeah. just so when you're doing drugs and stealing money from them and acting like a like a crazy person, there are times where you look at them and you go, even as a kid, I understood that like, oh, there's something really fundamentally wrong with what I'm doing. Yeah, because they're doing everything for me, you know, and my brother providing for us they want us to be had a, a future and mm -hmm. i'm just fucking wasting wasting it you mm -hmm. know but How, when did your parents um, come here mm, they came here yeah i don't know exactly when they came here but but when they came in like my mom was a nanny yeah. you know living uh, nanny uh, my dad did gardening and construction mm -hmm. ever since i was a kid he's worked those two jobs construction during the week mm -hmm. as soon as he clocked out of that he mow a couple lawns, but uh, Friday and Saturday, like Friday, sometimes he wouldn't go to construction. So therefore, it was Friday and Saturday uh, landscaping all day, mm. you know. Mm, and then Sunday, God. if he didn't finish Sunday, he would go back and, wow. and, and finish out of like a house or two that, you know. What did they think of where of um, of you doing comedy in the beginning? Not they now. hate it. They, they hate still it. hate it. They still hate they, it. They still hate it. I don't they think they come you. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've seen me a couple times. Like I remember, they came a couple times, and my dad's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He didn't say nothing. He was just like, uh, "Why? Why did I come here?" Oh wow! Yeah, and then I was like, "Ah, I get it." You know? Yeah. And it, like, uh, I I used to work uh, at Robinson's May, 
like in, uh, I, I used to sell uh, kids' clothes. And yeah. I wore a tie, and my dad still brings <laughs> up that fucking job. He's like, man, remember when you wore a fucking tie? I'm like, I was selling kids' clothes. <laughs> but a tie, yeah. man, a tie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then he's like, you went to college. It's like, and you you stopped doing, so you graduated, didn't get a, really a job just to park cars at the comedy store. He's like, that to him is like, yeah. fuck Insane, up. yeah. Yeah, it's insanity, but I'm like, you do that in hopes of, Catching a big fish, you know what I mean, it's like you let all these little fish. You go. bought a lottery ticket, yeah. you know. You, you have to gamble. buy the ticket. I what? bought it a long time ago. I know you did. I bought one too, and I've I've been scratching off the numbers as we speak, <laughs> and I almost have them lined up. You know what I mean? You uh, got them, bro. I'm just saying that you we bu- you have to buy one. Yep. Anyone listening right now? Go right you're now. not. You can't win <laughs> if you don't it. buy. If you don't play, uh, 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 you gotta millions. fucking play. You play to win. All right, Powerball. My, you know, Powerball. my right. parents when I did the Tonight Show, they my dad goes, "How much did you pay them?" My dad thought that I paid the Tonight Show to get on the Tonight Show. Oh wow, that's how little they know. Yeah. But what happens is, what's gonna happen with you is one day, they're gonna see you. I'm gonna buy a house, mm. you know, and they're gonna you know, I'm 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 sending you guys money. Yeah. You know, and then they're going to go, oh. Yeah. When did it start for you? When did you um, start doing comedy or going to open mics? Or when did it actually occur to you that, hey, I want to do this? Um, Been a fan of it for a long time, you know, but I think uh, after high school is like, like end of high school and like beginning of college is where like, I'm going to go for it. And I went to an open mic and I. Where? In Long Beach, off of Anaheim Street, it was a bar. Which one, Alex's bar? No, it was. Uh, I think at the time it was called Liquid Lounge. Oh, I think it's still there. Is it still there? No, I don't think so. Wait, yeah, I it's on Anaheim it. Street. Like, uh, it was right by my high school, and it, it was just the worst bar. And and I I snuck in. I was twenty, mm-hmm. and uh, I asked the comic who was running it. His name's uh, Cochino, you know, and I asked him. <laughs> uh, Cochino. Yeah. And, 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 and I asked him, I said, hey, can I go up? He's like, dude, you're 20. Get out of here. They're going to shut the place down. I'm like, well, if I come back next week, can I get on? He's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So I got past the bouncer. Yeah, I mean, I've waited in the car and as soon as he like stepped out, I, w- I was in there and I hung out in the back. They had a little ping pong table. Mm-hmm. So I, I just kind of like sat there. People were drinking. I just pretend to be friends, you know, laughing at their jokes. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then finally, uh, I'm like, hey, you said I could go up. He's like, dude, j- just go up. So I go up and do three minutes. I bomb my ass off. I dropped the mic. I tipped over the mic stand. It was so bad. <laughs> um, it was bad. So I didn't do comedy for a full year. I'm like, this is not for me. So I go back at 21, do it again. I bomb harder than the first time. Bro. Wow. Harder. Yeah. I'm like, this is definitely not it. So I stay in but school. If you, but doesn't it feel good to bomb? I mean, it, now it does. I'm, it's no, but in a yeah, weird I mean, way. even back then, if you in retrospect, yeah, even hysterical. when I bombed, right, I was still impressed in the fact that I did when I went up there. Yeah. I mean, that was terrible. But the one thing that I was impressed, because I never thought I could do it, I go, is that you did that. Yeah, and then you're choosing to do it again. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. So you should. I mean, there wasn't that a feeling like that, or no? No, I'm, I mean, I had some weird ass jokes. I remember the first joke I I, I wrote is uh, I because I read the newspaper and there was like something with the death penalty, and uh, there was something like saying how tax dollars are not going to pay for the last meal. So I, I said, oh, uh, if I'm ever uh, about to get killed or whatever, uh, get the death penalty. Uh, for the last meal, I'll, I'll ask for a Red Bull because I heard it gives you wings. And I just looked around the room. Like, <laughs> that was a joke? That was a joke. That was so funny. <laughs> that was a oh, joke. I love Stop it. it. I'm going to write it down. I love it. You should have been there That's that my new day, opener. fucker. <laughs> um, I opened and closed with that. I said it twice and it didn't work. Try it again. I got that fire, man. I, I like, had a, no. my, One of my first jokes was, um, I don't know why, but I said Vietnamese is such an unromantic language. Mm-hmm. You, know, you got a beautiful girl in your arm, right? Uh-huh. You're looking right on their, their eyes, you're right? You open your mouth and you go, bang! Yeah, you know, I just do the bang, 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 you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And it was so hacky. But I, I think I got a laugh because of the just doing the Asian accent, accent. thing, right? Uh-huh. But like in the beginning, that's what you write because you don't know. Right. Especially, you know, the, what I mean, I'm sure you had, who did you look up to? Paul Rodriguez, maybe, or no? Lopez? Uh, 
early on, yes, George Lopez, Paul Rodriguez, because they were like, as as a comic, you're like, who do I resemble, or who, like, who, what path do I take? Mm -hmm. So it's like these guys, and then the more I got into it, the cartoons on Saturday was uh, Life with Louis, Louis Anderson, yeah, uh, Bobby's World, which was uh, Howie uh, Mandel, Howie Mandel, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh man, so you just start getting exposed down the line. Don Rickles, I remember, was like. Don Rickles stood out because he roasted, and I love that so much. And it was very much like immigrant culture, you, you know, barbecues. Man, grandma start, you know, making fun of you, your uncles, your cousins, and you just have to hold your own, mm -hmm. defending yourself or making fun of them. So that's what stuck out about Don Rickles, and I just started getting more and more enamored. And now, I mean, my two top favorite comics are J.B. Smoove and uh, Brian Regan. Wow. You like if, Brian Regan. If I, I could Regan. be 118th of what Ryan Regan or JB Smooth has like, yeah. I feel like I've 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 made it. Have you met Regan? No. He would love you, I think. No. I I'm, I'm going to go watch him uh uh in in November. He's playing in uh, Long Beach at the theater. Like I can't wait. You going to go? Yeah, I'm going. Maybe I'll go with you. Yeah, really? I love him. Yeah. I'll call him. I know him. I we, we, we get, get out. That's so cool. Right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You know him? Yeah. He's the best. He's so nice. He's one of my favorites too. <laughs> Growing up, even when I was in my early twenties, when he was headlining like the improvs and stuff, uh -huh. he what what, you, what happened? Are you happen? scared of dogs? What just happened? Yeah. Oh yeah, you are <laughs> yeah. scared of dogs. Wait, wait, you're, you have a dog phobia? Yeah, but well, I'm, you just I'm did way that better. Was fucking weird, bro. No, well, he, I saw the dog. He yeah. actually talks about it in his act. In yeah, his, could we not yeah. have I, I, but our I thought guests it was just a joke? But what you just did that was fucking crazy. That's real. I yeah, feel yeah. bad now. You, 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 no, like, no, flinched. it's fine. It, it's fine. I, I'm I'm a lot better than I than I used to be around. What dogs. happened to What happened to you as a kid with a dog? I, I I got I got bit a bunch of times. It's it's happened a lot. You know what I mean, a dog that small though. Yeah, a pit bull dog. That one. Like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What <laughs> breeds do you want to talk about? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait! You've never loved a dog, then? So, so, yes, I used to have a dog, but then I got attacked, and it was all, all, all oh, bad. But shit. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what: when I walked in, did you guys see how he barked at me? Yeah, they sense fear. Yeah, and the yeah. more I backed off, the more he barked until I got close, and then they walked away. So now I've, I've I'm learning these tricks. Don't mm -hmm. make eye contact with the dog. Uh, just ball up in a ball and cry. Like that works. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> wow, that's interesting because I just saw something new. Yeah. The way you did that, that was really weird. I saw fear. That was real. She's like that with cockroaches. Really? I mean, they're cockroaches. I used to have pet cockroaches. I used so to collect them in Gerber jars. Wait, As hold on. Kid. I thought Mexicans did the June bug. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you tie up the June bug, The water bug, beetles? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. I would do that, but I collected roaches that were more readily available. <laughs> did you really? I was a weird kid. Oh, my God, roaches. <laughs> but let me ask you this. Yeah. Did you fuck in high school? Not really. You no, know, no. Just say no, yes or no. No. I uh, know. I already no. know that. Yeah. I never even asked you that. I could just, no. just based on my gut instinct, yeah. you didn't. When did you fuck first? Well, <laughs> before we get into that, let's yeah. go to our sponsor, uh, Blue Apron. Blue Apron. It's so delicious in my belly, belly. Blue, Blue Apron. apron. It's, it's so, so delicious, delicious in my belly, belly. Oh my God, guys. We harmonize like we're Crosby, Stills, and Nash, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Instead, it was Chink, Gook, and Nip. <laughs> Wait, <who's> that? <laughs> I love that. We're like man. Crosby, Stills, and Nash, but we're called Chink, Noop, and Nip. I love it. My point is, is this: is is that when I come home from a hard days of work, right? I don't really work, but and it's not that hard. But my point is, I'm fatigued mm. and I'm 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 thirsting for. Um, nutrients okay. for my insides of my body. Got it. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this. Our body is like a, a machine. Oh. Okay. And it needs fuel. Hence food. But you know there's garbage out there, right? You go to restaurants and whatnot. It's yeah, garbage, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, you put want... rocks in your gas tank? No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm telling you right now, Blue Abram is affordable. It's fresh. The the ingredients are amazing. F fresh. Mm -hmm. Amazingly fresh. Aren't they amazingly They're fresh so though? Amazingly I don't, I, you fresh. know, I like I like when you smile when I said it. Yeah. And tell them about him. <laughs> <laughs> about him. For them. Check out this week's menu and get $30 off your first meal with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash belly. You will love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home-cooked meals with Blue Apron. So don't wait. That's blueapron.com slash belly. Quick, Blue story, quick story about it. Yep. Kalai was cooking up some blue apron the other day. Get out of here. I hear a knock, knock, knock. Okay, right? that's yeah. the door? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I open the door, guess who's there? Who? George Clooney. Again? <laughs> yes. But not, this time, not about the walk. No, no, no. He's like, what smells? And it, right, he was with Chris Hans. I don't know what they, they were that's doing together. Weird, yeah, but, okay. but I go, what are you guys doing here? Yeah, and yeah. they're like, I, I go, I don't have any movement watches. They're like, no, what are you cooking? 
That Damn. sounds fucking fresh. <laughs> blue apron. Yeah, blue a apron. Better way dude. to cook. Better way to cook. And we're back. <laughs> and we're wow. back. Do you like what food? What is that? Jesus? Let me see. Is that you? Yeah. Let me so, see. So this is a picture I wanted to show you at the comedy store uh, when I was little. I found this one because of the documentary. So this is the one you told me. About. Look. So I shaved my eyebrows when I was a kid. I saw my dad <laughs> shave and I shaved them off. So my mom grew out this bow cut. Yeah. And gave me what she calls a girl haircut so yeah. they can not see my, my eyebrows. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You look so different. Wow, you look I so like different there, though. You're your so white. Your face whiter and whiter. Yeah. Wait, I'm trying to tell you guys. See, oh, yeah, yeah. It's two-tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me look at this. You're That's chunky, too, huh? Chunky yeah. guy. Were you a little fat? Yeah, yeah. How, oh, what your a whole cute little fat? kid. Look yeah. at this Those kid, suspenders. baby. suspenders. Oh, I love this kid so much. That picture gets way better. Check this out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Me and the homie? <laughs> oh, get out of here right what now! Is that? What is that right there? It's a, it's a teddy bear. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Talk know? about unfuckable! Look at that. That's that kid, if I based based on those photos, like no, no, no future. But you have one. This is so cute, dude. Send me yeah. to send it to me. I, I I will. I'm gonna send send it to me. One of the things that always inspired me about you, Bobby, that you didn't here give a go. fuck when you are on stage, like you said, what was on your mind, and I've always there we go aimed to do. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not supposed to cuss. No, yeah, I swear. Oh. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's oh, okay. Swear, yeah. Um, but yeah, just seeing you at the store, you were always very welcoming. Do you remember that? I'll never forget the kind gesture. What? Um, I got banned from the store for drawing a dick on the car. Do you remember what? this? Whose car? Wait, what? It was, it was, it was a manager. Yeah. It, it was a manager that. at the time. Why yeah. did you do that? Uh, b because it was a dirty car, so I went and drew a dick. Oh, We've all done it. Like you the know, dust. The dust. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. Yeah, the dust. What I, I, manager banned you? So, so I draw the dick. And the guy comes back and he says, hey, like, I went to go get it buffed out. The thing's not coming out. So when you saw, saw it in the sun, kind of did this. Yeah. You know? Like, you could see it kind of holographic. I'm like, <laughs> It's I'm just like, a holographic oh, dick. Hey. <laughs> and I was like, okay. I mean, I'm a door guy there. I don't have a lot of money. But I said, hey, I'll, I'll give you the hundred bucks that I you remember, paid. I remember. It was, a, it was like an older car. Like a, a, like a um, T-Bird. Like a T-Bird. Yeah, that's yes. what it was. I remember now. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I said, I'll, I'll give you the hundred bucks that you paid. And you know, wait, you know, the next check, and I'll start giving you money towards another one. You know I mean, I fucked up. I'll man up to my shit. Let me whatever. guess who it is. Let me guess who it is. He's not there no more. I know he is not. I know who he is. He was kind of a younger yeah. guy, Jut. right? He he would go by Jut. Yeah, I know him. Okay. I didn't like him. He was a nice guy. Fuck I'd... him. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. So, so I draw the dick. He gets mad. Uh, goes over everyone's head, emails like Peter or something like that, and shit hits the fan. Like now they're like, what's up with oh this? And God. at the time I was If anyone with doesn't Polly. know, just you stop. Peter Shore is Polly's brother, who is basically, he owns the comedy store. Mm -hmm. And this piece of shit manager went to the top. Wait, for, for, for a dick drawing on a car? On yeah. a, in a comedy parking lot, too? I know. <laughs> Yeah, so but you know I I didn't mean out of malice. Shit on my fucking car, and that's what used to happen. Like people started saying, "Is is like why is Jesus getting banned over a drawing a dick?" And, yeah, you know they used to wipe shit on on the car. You know, yeah. Bobby and, <laughs> and Ari for yeah. fun. Yeah, <laughs> and um, so I I was with Polly at the time. I was working uh, when he was doing that uh the politic special, and um, so at that time I think yeah I, I was already passed, and um. I was on the road with him, so there. Uh, so a manager was there that was kind of doing a, a consulting work, and I got banned. Like, like, like I got banned for that month, and they're like, you know, Polly shouldn't take you on the road. I'm like, so I don't work here, so there's no money coming in. The road is the only money I'm gonna get through Polly. I'm fucked. And then they're like, you know, maybe your name won't go up on the wall. You oh. fucked up. Oh my god. So now I'm crying. I, I, I'm little. I cry very easy, so it doesn't say much, but um, yeah. And. Uh, they get an estimate. They say this thing's gonna be three thousand dollars, right? So That's you hear so about it, and you're like, "Dude, right now, I'll give you the money, done deal." And I remember telling you, "It's like, hey man, they're trying to teach me a lesson. Don't pay the three thousand. Like, yeah, uh, I remember. Yeah, they're yeah. They're trying to teach me a lesson, and I understand what this is. I appreciate the gesture, but no, thank you. You know. And uh, long story short, nothing came of it. But Polly still took me on the road, and I'll never forget this. So he takes me on the road. He gave me this long talk. He's like, look, you got to stop fucking around because uh -huh. when you do st stupid shit like this, the industry stops fucking with you because, hey, this guy's a problem. This guy does pranks. This guy, people don't like that. And he gave me this long, sincere talk. I soaked it in. 
So we get to Boise, right? Yeah. And I love going to radio. Like that, I love going to a morning radio. He would let me tag along. So he's like, hey, tomorrow, 5 a.m., let's meet in the lobby. Let's go. So I wake up really early. I'm waiting in the lobby, just chilling. And the and the windows of the hotel are like sweaty. You know that morning sweat? <laughs> yeah. So I go over there and I start. <laughs> no. You did? I saw, Penises? It was, a, it, it was a teddy bear and a dog. Oh, do, okay. Right? So I'm doing this. And uh, I'm, I'm just waiting for Polly to get there. And I hear behind me, I hear. Oh. Huh. It's Paul. Jew, Jew breathing. And I, 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 <laughs> Jew breathing. And, and, and I make eye contact with him. He's like, dude, what I say? That's uh, a good one. I fucked up. He's like, I'm gonna go to radio alone. You stay here. I'm like, fuck me. He Over, just told me about this. He but just honestly, told me Jesus, about it. Jesus, it's window doodling. Who like? It's, <laughs> when is that a fucking crime? Window doodling. Hey, bruh. But dude, yeah. but here's where it gets crazy. What yeah. lesson are they trying to teach her? Don't window doodle. <laughs> yes, Kalila. I'm That's siding. Real thing. You know what? I'm uh, siding with Paul on this I'm one. Siding yeah, with yeah, you. for sure. No, 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 this is. Stupid. Let me say something right now, dude. Think about the, the windows. Part, <laughs> you ever fucking window doodle again? Wow. All right. Shit. Let's see what fucking comes around. Fuck Whoa. not. I'll do it right there, bro. Right. Oh. Oh. So then what happens? So as if I don't learn my lesson from right? Windows. <laughs> <laughs> so if I don't learn my lesson, we ended up in Cincinnati, right? And uh, we go to radio, right? We come back. Polly's really like he has to take a number two. Like he really, really <laughs> has to go. And, like, yeah, yeah. One of these, like in the car, like I'm not gonna make oh, it. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I wish I was there. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> busting his balls. We're all laughing, you know. Yeah. And uh, so we get in. I, I was staying like on floor. Uh, I was staying like on the third floor, right? And uh, Polly was staying like on the twenty. 27th floor or whatever so we're walking we're running in we get in the elevator he's like all right man i'll i'll catch up with you later for lunch so when i get off i grab all the buttons and i go i push all the buttons i'm like <laughs> and i wave at him and the door's closing slowly as he's holding his side he's uh, like uh, you uh, fucked up uh, bro uh, wait, like, okay i thought we were no, just no, playing. Stop, stop, okay. stop 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 <laughs> so a man has to take a shit <laughs> Uh, let me get this right. Let me get let me get this right. He's on the verge. His tur uh, turtle it's head is sticking out yeah, of his butthole. Prairie turtle, turtle, right? Turtle. Yeah. And you get off on the third floor, and you press all the elevator buttons, so it takes him longer to get to his room to take a shit. How is that? Let me ask you that. Is that is that Mexican thinking? What is that? <laughs> I mean, what is, the, what is the what is the end game there? It's stupid thinking. Mm. Yeah, it's not it's good. Too, well, that, that's why I don't fuck around like that anymore. I, I, like I learned my lesson. That definitely is more of a crime than a doodle. Yeah, yeah. That's a little bit more yeah. serious. Yeah, I fucked it's up. It's very funny, though. Yeah. I fucked yeah, up. Yeah. What did Polly say to you after? Well, I, I go to my room, and I'm like in anxiety mode, just okay. sweating so out my shirt. So you just do things without thinking it through, and then you feel guilt afterwards? <laughs> is that who you are? I fucked up. I was just joking. It was like in the moment joking. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, we, we were joking. If Polly was, was really struggling, I would have gotten off on the third floor and shit in your bathroom. That's what I would That's have That's what done. I would have done. Oh, yeah. yeah I yeah, never yeah. thought hey, about yeah, that. You, you know what? You know, you get right, punished. Yeah. I'm going to shit in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> right. What, um, now, opening for him, was it a pleasant experience? Uh, yeah. Any, I, I, any, I, any bad experiences? or No. I, Look at me right now. What are you doing? <laughs> what? There's no bad experiences, not one. <laughs> I mean, he would get upset sometimes because I didn't know what I was doing. Or On like, stage, like, you mean? No, like um, like merch, running the merch line and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, you I know? remember I had to do that one time. Yeah, I the merch it. line is, is difficult. It's, it's very specific. He has a lot of fans. So it's like, you, you know, making sure you're taking pictures and selling the shirts. But there's it's just me and him, you know? Yeah. So I got to set everything up. And I'm a slow learner. So it took me so long to figure out how to really sell his merch and I could tell you you used to get in trouble a lot by the way I saw you and Bobby, the way I saw you treat Bobby in the airport when you went on the road with him. Really? And the what, way what you would you carry his oh, bags. You oh, that's You right. basically huh. rolled out the red carpet for him. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, you were like really being extra. Listen, like can I just what? say that you're not, you know, you're not in my eyes mm -hmm. an open mic or anything. I, I look at you like a Fahim Anwar. Dope, uh, yeah. you, I Jade, I, I like Jade a lot. Just someone like Jade, somebody that now is on the brink of possibly really making it. You know, so I don't really look at you that way. I mean, in fact, the one last time, I, where, where did you open for me last? San Jose? San oh Jose. no, it was San, San Antonio. No, it was San, San Jose. Jose. Yeah, I, I, that Super was the, fun. literally the last time I in my head. It was pandemonium for you. I could I not. I honestly, I'm going to be real with you. Rarely, and I've I bring in I brought hard hitters. 
I couldn't. I struggled every show. I think no after. Way. Yeah, dude, that's how decimate. good you were. That's mm-hmm. how good you were. Mm-hmm. I told her I, I, can't, I can't. I was there, and I, I thought I, I was actually worried. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I can't fucking do it. That's a big, you know, theater too, and that audience laughed for a straight. I mean, minutes. you crushed. Boom. And that's when I knew I went. Oh my god, there's just this guy's as is there. You're there now. Now all you need to do is just get a name, and then now you can headline. You know, are you doing what Kimmel? What are you doing? I'm doing the Late Late Show with James Corden. Oh, oh my god! When's that? Yes. Uh, tomorrow. <gasps> tomorrow wow. night? Yeah, tomorrow night. No, during, the during the day. During the day. It's during the day. Are yeah. you nervous? I I I I no. I, I am, but not as much as I was because I ran the set so much. How know? does it work? Do they let you um, do it over if you make a mistake? No. I'm not sure. I don't no, think don't. That, that's the case. It's a tight ship that they run because they it's like do four. do not do that. How was yours? Four to when... five. Listen, in the, I saw Regan one time on a late show. Yeah. And not do well. I think it was The Tonight Show. Mm-hmm. I've seen him do great, but one time I saw him, he wasn't. And they don't edit it. They That's it. You have one shot, you one get and one done. One shot Stuck and done. There. Yeah. Wow. So it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure, but <laughs> 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 I know, but you've done t- TV before, right? Yeah, like uh, you know, yeah, here's like Comedy Central. The the trick. Here's the trick. I'm sweating for you, my. This hands. is the trick. Oh man. Anyone listening, <laughs> you're a comic. You're doing TV. <laughs> this, the trick is, regardless of how you're doing, you just in your face pretend you're killing. Yeah. Because they can edit it somehow. Yeah, I mean, literally, like, Soundtrack. if you can just right. convince your face, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that you're, like, killing, yeah. even though you don't, the timing's off or the jokes are coming out weird, right? Yeah. You can still survive that. But if you, let, if you let them affect okay. you right, and they can see the bomb, oh, my God, don't do that. Yeah. That's why I can never pass for looking calm and cool because I always get the sweat mustache. Uh-huh. And it's mm. just it just shines. It just reflects all this light. So on camera, it's just like, oh, that bitch is in trouble. She's <laughs> dying on the inside. Yeah. But, you're, but you're at a point where your ego won't allow it. What do you mean? Because here's what happens: is is that, I mean, I don't, I don't, I hate talking about shit like this, but the other day I was shooting, you know, the sitcom that I'm on, mm-hmm. right? And there was a couple of lines that were that were really just difficult. The first, when I rehearsed, I couldn't get it out clean. And, you know, they did a couple of takes and I couldn't get it out clean. And then I could feel a little tension in the thing. Like, we got to go. Come on. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And I could, I remember I could succumb to the pressure and fear and just unravel. But I, I said to myself, no. You're going to fucking do it right now. Because if this, the consequences... You don't want that, right? And your ego just kind of pulls you through it. I think that you're at that level when you go up on the cordon. Have you ever unraveled on stage? Like unraveled meaning? Like Bobby like ran out after two minutes and then blacked out type of unraveling. Yeah, I, I mean, that that used to be the case. I, actually, I was doing like a long set, you know, and um, I, I, I panicked and I threw in the closer where it wasn't and then oh, the other thing. Fun. And then it was like, I literally, I had this list. I wrote out my set list like oh on my a napkin. God. Yeah. And I'm like, it was bad. I, I ran behind the thing and I grabbed it. And I'm like, and I came back. I'm like, that's it, guys. And I, that got a laugh. And I'm like, at least I ended with a laugh. But it was fucking terrible. Like, I wanted to ma- make a 90 degree turn on the freeway. Right. Like, just, <laughs> right, right. Just, <laughs> you know, it have was you, Have bad. you ever done like, I, I've done that where like I was supposed to headline. And I rearranged the jokes in a way where I don't know what else to do. You know, like I forget. Because yeah. some jokes go with other jokes. Right. Right, in, in chunks. Uh, yeah. So, so when you switch it around sometimes, you get lost in it, and then you forget gig- gigantic chunks. Mm. So that if you're just supposed to do 45 minutes, you're 20 in, and you're like, I'm Dumb. out. Yeah. I have nothing else. Yeah. And then I do... You know the trick of like crowd play. What do you do? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and then, then yeah. and then it doesn't work, and then you know you have no out, <laughs> yes. and you're fucked. Oh. Uh, you know what I mean? Where you're fucked. I did Houston Improv the first time I headlined there. Yeah. I did 17 minutes. Yeah, because I, you know, Wait, you know, you're supposed to do 45. Yeah, I did 17 <laughs> minutes. I got off stage, and fans were like talking to like the manager, going. <laughs> Can we get our money? You know what I mean? And then like the manager coming and going, going, is that all you can do? 
right? You're like, no, I rearranged it in a way, in a fashion, but they don't want to hear <laughs> they that. They don't want to hear it. They're like, because they they're, they're there to sell drinks. Yeah. So they need that 45 minutes to sell the drinks. 17. In 17, <laughs> there's ch drinks that aren't even at the table yet. <laughs> Chucks, checks aren't, are, are, you know, aren't out. It's a nightmare. And oh, then people fuck. want their money back. It's like a fucking nightmare, dude. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard. Uh, you know, you're trying to find tricks, but it's like the whole thing of like crowd work. It's like, it's like almost like Houdini with like locks, like that stray jacket with locks. You're trying to find the combination and get out of there before you drown, and sometimes you end up drowning. It's just how it goes. Yeah. You know? it's, oh, it's it's the worst feeling. And these some of these like so a lot of these clubs now because people want people want to see celebrities. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna name names, okay? I'm Bob, not gonna name. I, Bobby Lee. I refuse to name names, but. There have been clubs where they've had, you know, a pretty big star who isn't a stand-up that headline because they can draw. Mm -hmm. But what they go when they go up on stage, it's a disaster. Mm -hmm. So they have to figure out ways to help this celebrity come up with the time. So they'll do like, why don't you do um, just why don't you bring everyone in the audience on stage and interview them? Like little tricks like that. Oh, improv games. Yeah, like a hug. Oh. Hug everyone in the audience. Kill they time. do stuff like that to kill the kill time, time, right? Really? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to name names, but there's some big ones that I know that had to do tricks up there. When yeah. that happened, I would have loved to hug everyone in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. That, I'm so sorry. That's it. I'm so that's sorry. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Individually guys, apologize. We're going to take another second to plug our sponsors. Yeah. You know, I, you know, I use... Um, my body as my business yeah mm -hmm. it's what i do mm. and um if you're going to go into war you want the right armor right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you want the right equipment you don't want to go out there with a swiss army knife stupid fighting isis dumb i use me undies when i perform on stage because i use it mm. it's the best quality underwear in the market show us right here Wow. wow! That was the reaction. It really holds up your sack like I've never seen before. Thank you. Thank you. My sacks are fucking delicious. His sacks also. <laughs> they are. They Especially when they're me undies. They're yeah. very heavy and they dip very low. Yeah, me yeah, undies like just walnuts. gives them the full support that he needs. Yeah, I need them, yeah. My point is, is this, okay? I was wearing them the other day and <laughs> walking down the street. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I get a tap on my shoulder. Get the fuck out of who here. Guess, no who, way. guess who it is. No. Guess. G George, George Clooney? Clooney? No, I don't know. Oh. What? That's weird. Okay. Oh. No. George Clooney. Get the... Wow. Oh, it was fucking George Clooney. I go, what's up, what dude? What did he say? He want the movement watching? He goes, no. He was like, dude, you're walking like free. Oh. I go, I'm a free man, dude. Yeah. Ever since Martin Luther King, we were free. <laughs> yeah, right? true. Right? Am I not right? Yeah, you're right. right. I go, but it's the underwear I'm wearing, dude. It makes me feel like I'm fucking wearing clouds. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, like light clouds. Clouds on your dick, babe. Yeah, don't say that, baby. It's an advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. Don't you can say nuts that. and you can say stick. You can't say. Nuts. You, you can't say dick. Okay. Yeah. My point is, is that it really is a fashionable underwear, and I wear them all the time, and I use them on stage when I perform. George Clooney wears them now. Chris, Chris Hansen. Hansen. <laughs> um, Anderson Cooper. He loves them. Yeah. Maya Rudolph. Oh wow! <laughs> so specific. Okay. Yeah, Maya Rudolph, former SNL cast yeah. member. Yeah. And tell us about it, Gil. <laughs> tell us about it. Tell us about it. To so get twenty percent off, free shipping, and their one hundred percent satisfaction guarantee, and get the best and softest underwear you will ever own, go to meundies.com/belly. That's meundies.com/belly. This is a limited time offer, so what are you waiting for? Start wearing the best underwear of your life. It's changed Bobby's life. It's time to let MeUndies change yours. It's a career changer. Mm -hmm. Go to MeUndies.com slash belly right now. Yeah, bye. Wow, best underwear ever. Love best. it. Yeah, I love it. I love MeUndies, underwear, man. right, yeah, Jesus? MeUndies for me life, undies. bro. Yeah, stand-up is fucking hard in that way, you know? Yeah. But um, but once you figure it out, you know? It's good, yeah. Once you start putting pieces together, like it starts to fit like a narrative which is fun start to talk about what happened in your day like one of the tricks i do now when i do like long sets is that i in the beginning i try to improvise you know that that way i hold my material as long as possible that's i do that too really i i do you know what sometimes i do i go i want to see how long you can go without saying a without joke. saying a joke and see how long sometimes you can last five minutes yeah mm. but sometimes 
10 seconds <laughs> right into material and then you go right into material yeah it's really weird well you were there the first time he did stand up oh yeah i, I blacked out too and that's when i improvised <laughs> that Dude, was... you know what's so impressive you were supposed to like eight minutes you ended up doing like that was 15? his very first time because he um, yeah, first time. he forced him yeah. up there yeah I, I, I remember bro you decimated talk about being scared to go up after i was scared to go up after you it was in brea oh yeah, yeah. I, I was like oh boy like what, what do i do now but bro you decimated the room. It was Some he had act outs. Remember yeah, what we yeah, were talking yeah. about act outs, voices. I was so nervous too. I was like, he's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it I so bad. I just watched old Bobby Lee YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what, dude? Patterns. It's like it, it's. I mean, I you can do what you want, but that's the key to you. I cannot believe you didn't keep up with stand up. Yeah, I don't know it why you don't do it. It's really? so. Dumb. You don't I'll do tell you what happened after that. I decided I came with all that hot confidence. Yeah. And I decided to hit the, the open mics for a week. Yeah, and that woo, that just like that destroyed. That you. made me go, oh, I'm not funny. I need to learn how to write jokes and not bank yeah, on charisma. Yeah, but how? Yeah. Yeah, but how are you funny? How can you be funny in front of just a bunch of comics and no audience exactly. at two in the morning? That that the 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 open mic scene isn't about you getting laughs. Mm. It's about going through boot camp, yeah, yeah. muscle memory, that kind right? Of it's thing. that, yeah. You're you're training, right? Mm. It's not about you know you can go in front of a crowd and kill, yeah, but that's not what that's there for. Mm. That's for paying your dues and all that other stuff. And you if know, you're not willing to do that, then don't do it. But my point is, is that I really believe that you're missing out on a gigantic opportunity. Fuck, now I'm pumped. Yeah, man. Shit. You know when Bobby said earlier, it's like on the Tonight, on the Late Late Show, it's like if you're bobbing, act like you're doing well. That's something you learn on a, at, at an open mic. No one's laughing. Comics are just waiting to go up. So you're just like, and, you know, set a punch and set a punch. And then you get off, you're like, fuck me. But it's an exercise. Yeah, yeah. And worst case scenario, if you say that joke and no one laughs, can you still go on to the next one and not get off in 60 mm. minutes or go back and behind the stage and look at my list and be like, that's all I have. That's all I have. <laughs> Was it an elevator? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I saw Rogan once like mm. years ago, 15 years ago when I first moved to LA. Mm. It was a rowdy show in the OR or whatever. And people were just talking and whatnot. And he did something interesting. He started pulling back his vocals mm. to the point where he was almost whispering. He was still talking in a normal voice. And then the room quiet it down oh I that's see. true because yep. just to yeah. hear them you know what i mean to, they wanted to hear them you know that your your gut instinct is to like talk over them yeah. that makes it worse a lot of times if you just pull back mm. but you learn all those little tricks from just doing it you yeah. know mm. but also just in terms of opportunity if i didn't have stand-up i wouldn't be in the position i'm in right now i wouldn't have anything mm. I'm not strong enough as a com as a, a comedic actor. Uh, you know, er everything that I get is through my reputation and all the things I've done and what I bring to it. But all of that is based on the root, which is com stand up. Mm. I mean, they put my name up at the comedy store every night for the last twenty years. That just subliminally, you know, people drive by that. You know, it's 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 all a part of. I I just think that. I would not make it if I didn't have it. It's like having the muscle but not using it for anything. You have the muscle. Mm. It's there. And then you're just letting it atrophy for no good reason. Why not flex it, you know? Yeah. But well, also, I want you to feel the pain. Okay? Of George is laughing because he goes to open mics every day. <laughs> I want, no, I want you to feel the pain of like years of like nothing happening. Oh, I'm already feeling You know I'm already feeling it. And I want you to go, okay, I have to try everything. Yeah. I, st I still hit up open mics all the time. I mean, I can't tell you how many, like, you can do two or three. Like, on Wednesday, this Wednesday, if you're not doing anything, you know, there's a run that you can do three open mics within, like, 50 yards of one another. Yeah. You start off at South Comedy Hall, you go to Dunkey's Art Gallery, and then you do the coffee shop uh, right next door, all within... You know, walking distance. So if you want to do it, you know, let's yeah. do it on, on on Wednesday. I do it all the time. Dope. When I also here's another thing. When I first came to LA, the '97 Hollywood Boulevard was was dangerous. Hmm. It wasn't it what what it was. There was prostitutes there. There were drugs. I mean, it was not what it is now. They didn't have the fucking Academy Awards. 
They didn't have that. Right what is that? With that whatever that fucking theater they have, the Academy Awards. The Pantages. Yeah, they didn't have. Oh. Yeah, any of that. It was fucking a disaster. So there was this fucking alleyway where there was this like fucking club uh-huh. that did open mic, and I remember going there all every week, and there was no one in the audience, and it was dingy. It, was, it reminded me of the movie Seven. It was just like always just kind of dark, and you're gonna find a fucking dead body or something. Mm. And I remember meeting this guy there. He was this fat, redheaded kid that did open mics with me, and he he wore a white shirt and he wore a gigantic green tie that was like thick right and he would go up and just scream at people well he's now an executive at Comedy Central Jordy that's oh. a, that's so crazy really? yeah but back then yeah. Jordy and I and let me say this like every like all the like you know every job I get for Comedy Central is all through Jordy right. Jordy will just text me you want to do this but that relationship is only there because we went to boot camp together. We forged it there. Yeah. And that's that's why that's also important, you know, is is that you meet even guys that like I don't hang out with that I st- like you know when I see like when I saw Zach Galifianakis at that movie I did that Keeping Up with the Joneses. Joneses yeah. He was there and I remember him looking at me. I hadn't seen him in years since Hangover. I hadn't seen him see blew up really. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he looked at me and he gave me like a like a war buddy a war buddy hug. Like, hey, there we, you know, you weren't there, man. No, I mean, like, it was that kind of like. The trenches. Man. Yeah, and he treated me so nice, like we were brothers. And I think I equate it to just growing, growing up with these guys, you know? You're missing out on that, too. But you know what? You did do sketch. You are from, you know, you do live shows, and that's a part of it, too, and that's great. But I just, I, you can do it. You know, I've seen you do it. You're so. Amazing. Unbelievably amazing for amazing. the little amount of time that you did mm-hmm. for real, do it, man. but you're you live in fear and a little bit of delusion. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh God! Here goes. You, you do. Yeah. You know. Did you ever, at one point in your life, <laughs> think fear, that delusion. you know what? Like, why am I doing this? Or it's not moving in the direction or the speed yeah. that I needed to go. Do I quit now? Did you ever think? Did you ever consider quitting? All the time. I mean, because it, it, it's so hard, it, like the unpredictability of, of this business, you know, it's like and I'm, I haven't done it as long as Bobby. I mean, but in my short little 10 years, I'm like the unpredictability is like, I don't know when the next check's coming. I mean, I mean, it's starting to get a little better, but still, you're just like, what the fuck do I do? It's like if you know what I mean, it's like you start looking ahead and the, and the calendar is kind of blank. You're like, am I going to have to apply for a McDonald's job just to get through this? For the next gig, I mean, it's no, just... dude, lift, bro, lift, yeah, lift. yeah. I'm... You're at a point now, you're fine. I s- listen to me right now. Slowly. No, no I'm no, telling no. you right this now. I, I, this is this is real. This is really. I predicted oh, it two years ago. She did remember? Too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When we had that. a long did talk she, about had, everything, she had a list, bro. You. There was two people. Jack in Knight. Mm-hmm. Jack Knight. You said yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Fahim is one of them. Literally, where I'm not kidding you, bro. I have no worry. Mm-mm. Right. Not a shred of worry. Give me a name that's at your level. I mean, I don't know. I, I, who I are your friends? Uh, Damar Randy. Never heard of him. <laughs> He's a funny dude. He's great. <laughs> He's great. That's my point. And my point, though, is that I don't know these Good exercise. Anymore. That's it. <laughs> that's a fun game, huh? Fun game. We're going to work on it. We're going to work on that fucking game. game. But uh, I don't even know the rules of that game. But uh, it was fun. You know? Yeah. It's... um. But yeah, it, like you made me think when you were saying that, it's like, I, I wish I can give credit to who said this, but I remember either hearing or reading, it's like, it almost seems like in this business, you're not trying to impress a casting director or producer or whatever. It's your friends that you're coming up with because when they get something, it's like, hey, Jesus, go do that thing you did at the parking lot where you drew a dick on the window. It's like, do that. And yeah. They, and they call on that because you're showcasing for your friends. You, know, I know my friends' range of what they can do, and it's mm-hmm, like... Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and and that reminded me of that. So, it's, do you it's, think that I did Chelsea lately? I did like eighty of them when I needed to, because I'm a good panelist. I'm terrible. There were many times where I don't. We we dating then. Yeah, you made me write like ninety yeah, percent. So like, yeah, like, like I, you were Bobby I, Lee's yes. joke writer. Me, yeah. My point is, <laughs> is that Nick it was Yusef. terrible. But funny stuff. Me I, and Yusef would scramble for an hour to yeah, get yeah, him yeah, the joke. Yeah, yeah. My point is, is that <laughs> it was the worst. Experience. I needed it at the time, be- and Chelsea <laughs> and I started together, so it was just an outlet. You know, it's like yeah. 
So I'm just saying that that's important. Anyone mm -hmm. listening, guys, you get, you can't, you got, you just gotta fucking buy the ticket, huh? The buy the ticket. ticket and wait, wait to see what happens. <laughs> and pray and cry. Sometimes that <laughs> ticket might not. But win. let me ask you this though: when you got on that variety list, yeah, how did that feel? That's huge. It felt really good, man. It, it, Mantra was a different uh. Um, Can somebody yeah. <laughs> go be? You were Tiger Blue. Our guests um, feel uncomfortable. <laughs> um, JFL was a different experience. Like the the festival going with the variety thing was a different experience. It was just you know, I I could feel people talking to me a little different, yeah. which has never had happened before. Yeah. Um, I wasn't. I I did a panel, which was nice. People were like listening. The people were nodding and listening. Like, what the fuck do I have to say to these people? There's like execs and managers, agents yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. My managers were there, which was awesome. But you know, all these other people, like you just see them like nodding and stuff. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Like, I, what do I have to bring to the table? You know? Bobby and I always we have a running list of people who are um, either open micers or comics now who we when we predict whether or not they're gonna change and turn into divas. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So we play this game a lot. And yeah. he's always like, ah, oh, that person. Nope, monster, monster, monster. I we don't it. think I our love... bet is you will never change. You'll never change. Oh, oh wait till I get money. Fuck. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. I'm going to get my teeth fixed. <laughs> yeah, put gold on my fucked up teeth. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about Jack Knight. I can't read him yet. I love Jack. Cool. I know, but I feel like cool. maybe. Jack won't change. You'll cool. think, no, no, no. But Fahim for sure not. No, for Fahim sure not. Fahim not. He'll never change. I don't think you'll They're ever change. They're just a few. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Candace will never Guys, change. Yeah, no, I don't know change. about that one. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, none of those guys. I've, guys and girls, I don't think uh, they'll change. You, you, you see how genuine they are, and people love them because of that. Mm. Like, they're real, you know? How long have you been dating your girl? Long time. How long? Nine years. Wow. Yeah. She's been with you nine years, huh? Yeah. She lived with you too, with the with her parents. No, no, she she's similar situation, taking care of her mom and stuff oh, like you that. You Hispanics are so good with family. <laughs> so good, such good people. No, they are, yeah. man. They yeah. are. Yeah, that's it, it, it's a family thing. That's why if you go into a, a convalescent home, old people home, you'll never see Latino people there. Mm -hmm. And if they do, it's under a very weird circumstance. Yeah. No Filipinos no either. Filipinos Just either. the nurses. The nurses, right? Yeah. Is that like that in the Korean? Fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> we're yeah, yeah, we said and we're good too, dude. But here's the thing: like, I read an article once about gang members. Yeah. And like, African American gangs are um, mm -hmm. territorial. Mm -hmm. That this is our street. Yeah. Right. Hispanic games are more family driven. Is you Hispanic hurt my cousin. Still the cor correct term. <laughs> whatever. You hurt my cousin. We're gonna get you. You know, my my brother got hurt by you. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. I see what Cam you're Cambodian gangs. Yeah. This this scientific thing that I read, there was no reason. For their violence, the tiny rascals just, is in Long just Beach, violent? right? No, eh, yeah. Eh, eh, yeah, Long Beach eh, is a eh, eh, Joel. Yeah. yeah, happy birthday! Ta -ta 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 -ta. Like it, 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 whatever it is, we have the Cambodian gang in um, Long Beach. It's the tiny rascals. Right? Yeah, they go crazy yeah. for no but, reason. But isn't Long Beach has the biggest population of Cambodians yeah, outside? Yeah, we have of Cam Cambodia yeah. town. Yeah, yeah. I yep. love Steam Reap. It's the best restaurant. I love Pol Pot. There. <laughs> no, dude, <laughs> that's favorite. not good. That's not good, Pol Pot. Hey, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> you think it's, bro? Come on. You think is that, it's, is it's that, good it's that they it's killed? Soup. No. Oh, I was. There's a soup called Pot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you ever <laughs> had Pol Pot soup? What's the soup no. made of, Bobby? What is coconut juice and and uh, leaves? Okay. What else? Uh, mint. Okay. Nice. Cura curry. This is, this is a fun. Carrot okay, and lemongrass. Pol Pot. Are those things that just popped into your head as you went along? Fuck you, bro. <laughs> No, I'm, in terms of, dude, let me say something right now, okay? Yeah. You don't have a list of your favorite, like, bad people? No. You don't have your list of favorite serial killers? No, definitely not. I do. Number one, Dahmer. Why? Because he, he, he liked to eat blacks and Asians. Uh, mm -hmm. He wow. ate two Asians and eight black guys. Mm. It's like vitamins. You know, aside from the riots, you know, you, you know the blacks and the Koreans, we got in... There was tension in the riots, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then if you look back, we were all all on Jeffrey Dahmer's menu. So that's a way to bond. Oh, okay. Mm. And then you have Rush Hour, the movie. That's another way to bond, <laughs> right? So, you know, the riots, the tension, and now it's, like, relieved a little bit. Like, mm -hmm. in terms of Jeffrey Dahmer was good. I liked um, Ed Gein. Without Ed Gein, there would be no Silence of the Lambs, the movie. Mm. Mm -hmm. So in many ways, you can see, you know, the good. To, also, you, know. you guys should watch Mindhunter on Netflix if you haven't. Yeah. Mindhunter. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very Why good. Oh, yeah, and I I watch porn, Pussy Hunter, bro. Hey, that's what. Hey, yeah, yeah. One more time, hey. one more time, one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. It is. you eat it, bro. That's how it yeah. sounds, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unhelpful advice with Bobby, Kalila, and the skyline of L.A. That's you, Jesus. <laughs> that's me. Yeah, <laughs> that's the Ernst and Young. Uh, well, someone already asked the industry question here, so you guys answered it pretty well already. So people well, like those. You know what though? People like it. Yeah. So I on Twitter, a couple of guys said we like it when you talk about Hollywood. So yeah. we're gonna we're not gonna stop doing that. A lot of our unhelpful advice are those. So yeah. you guys, we're ready to answer that. So we'll go to the very bottom one. Get uh, Jesus's take on this. Hi, Tiger Belly. There's a cute Asian girl in my chem class that I want to talk to, but I only see her Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'd sit next to her, but she has a close group of friends that box her into the corner seat. I'm an Asian guy, 23, and I'm a big fan of the show. How do I approach her? Any techniques, Jesus? Uh, used to pull back. I, I know exactly how to do it. I know it. how you feel. Doing no, it. you. What you do is you go up, right, and you compliment all the girls, the friends, the friends. Like, let's say the girl's name is Sally. Mm-hmm. So you go to the friend Sabrina. Sabrina, I like your hair. <laughs> hey, Katie, I like your eyes. You have great eyes. Then you look at the one you like, and you go, "You're all right." Yeah, I, <laughs> you hurt them a little. Like classic the, nagging. It's nagging. I mean, yeah, a little. You hurt them a little. And That's, then you get it in their mind. Nah. There's books written about it. Bobby negs you and you're nah. in love with him. Yeah, yeah. That's not, what he does is not negging. That's <laughs> domestic <Yeah>. abuse. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> just pitch me. Oh, I've been sucking on her titties, like forcing it. <laughs> no, guys, it's so consensual. There's oh no God. forcing involved. No, she'll go, what are you doing? I, I don't want to do that right now. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> And I'll just grab her titty like aggressively. Oh, consensual. I let him yeah, do consensually, it. Consensually, but like, like in a claw. <laughs> and I'll claw her but titty. But I like it. She doesn't I like allow it. Allow him. I, she'll go, no, I'm like, no. Yes, yes. She'll go, no, no, no. I'll I eat and I'll start sucking on it. Do it. it all He's the time. just not a response. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so I, your take? Oh, my take on that? Uh, let's see. Uh, why, wait, I have. Uh, yeah, before, before you answer that, <laughs> yeah. can I just say one thing? What's going on, Bobby? I have a, I have a question real quick. Bobby! <laughs> yeah. Yeast. I wanted to bring this up so far. Don't forget. So, just r- real quick, I was at work today, and every day I go to work, mm-hmm. there's a little kid that's on the show. Okay, it's a family show, and this little kid, Sander, just listen. He punches me in the butt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's cool. From behind, he'll just start punching me in the butt, right? <laughs> and I, you know, everyone's around, and people are laughing, so I'll laugh, I'll laugh <laughs> right? But I get angry because there's <laughs> nothing I can do about it. <laughs> right. And you, I said stop, and he just keeps. He goes. Ah! He's like eight. He's very talented. Yeah. But he just la- loves it. It's fine. Yeah. But it's like, what do you do? You can't do nothing, okay. right? Run. So unhelpful advice for Bobby. What should Bobby do in this unhelpful advice, Clyde? Yeah. I think you should run. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You run. Yeah, what do I do? Just run. Don't. Stop. I do run away a little bit, and her mom goes, "Stop it, Sander. Stop it." Every time he does it, run to the mom. And hide oh, behind her. right, right, right. That's oh, what make I'm gonna do. That's great. That's great. Make what about that way you? she's aware. Ah, yeah. I, I, in my head, I imagine you laughing and pretending you're enjoying it. So <laughs> how, how is a kid supposed yeah, to know? Yeah, but why can't I stop? punch him back? But he can't. You can't punch him back. You <laughs> can't, right? You can't punch you him. Just scold him. No, no I love him. Then, He's so yeah, cute. He wants to be kid. the fun, you know, the fun. Oh, the yeah, I want the fun guy. All right. Anyway, so answer the question of the lady. Uh, or the guy. How does he get? How does he talk to the girl? How does he talk to the girl? Um. He should walk by, be like, "Hey, I got the answer to the test right here, and they're on this table. So if you want to sit, I don't know." Oh, <laughs> that was good, real good. Yeah, I like how, it. How did you get your lady? Uh, we uh, we met at Bed Bath and Beyond. That's uh, classic. That's totally we worked there, and then she. But you worked on. at which which department? The Beyond part. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Lee. <laughs> <laughs> that's the laugh he does with the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Patronizing. Where that. did you? Where you? What department did you work in? Towels. Are you being real? Yeah. Uh, we were full to... of towels. Yeah. Uh, well, just you they know, had what? this cleaning brand supplies. Cleaning suit. supplies. Huh? Oh, wow. That's where you be real. It's not cleaning supplies. It's towels. towels. It's bath Cleaning part. supplies. Yeah, come on. Let's be real. Towels. <laughs> All right, towels. Towels. So you guys were folding. Yeah, yeah, we were just folding towels and stuff, and yeah. And then, and then, what happened? Well, I met her in the break room and I'm like, hi. And she's like, you're a weirdo. I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll leave. 
<laughs> and then we just would hunt, hang out, but she wasn't really into me it, to begin with. She was like, "Who the fuck's this weird guy?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, and I was just like, it, it, "It's pronounced Jesus," you know. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Oh, nice. And How then did the, you guys meet? I don't think I've ever Tinder. Asked you. Oh. Tinder. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know. So that. boring. No, it's not. Yeah, it's it exciting. Is. It's like such. It's like the. It's worst a contemporary story way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I wanted to do like, Bed Bath and Beyond. <laughs> you want to do Bed? <laughs> Ah. I tried in the beginning. I used to try and tell people like I would lie and be like, "Oh, we met at a coffee shop because that's where we went on our first date." Via Tinder. But then he would be like, "No, we didn't, bitch. It's Tinder." Yeah. And I'm yeah, like, "Ah, oh, yeah, God, yeah, I can't yeah. even lie." But yeah, you, technically, you could say coffee shop because that's where you officially mm-hmm. met. Met. Face I would have never met her unless it was Tinder. Okay. I know, but why aren't they giving us money to keep plugging them every episode? <laughs> every. <laughs> Do you need anything else to plug? Yeah, plug your shows. Um. I'll, I'll be doing a one-nighter at Ontario Improv, November 12th. You got to go, guys. Ontario Improv, Go check November out my 12th. friend Jesus Hitreo. How much is it? Probably not that much, right? Uh, Five bucks. <laughs> Just sign up for the emailing list. I'm sure you'll get yeah, the yeah. thing. They'll paper the room for sure. Because hand- it's Jesus Trejo performing there. What's your handle? Uh, Twitter, at Jesus Trejo. And then Instagram, at Jesus Trejo, the number one. And then uh, JesusTrejo.com. Facebook fan page, Ooh. Jesus Trejo Comedy. Uh, but yeah, I will be at the Ontario Improv November 12th. Got it's it. Great, great news. Go see him, guys. Listen, dude, Um, we needed a guest today, and you came through. I really appreciate it, dude. I, I've always loved you, and um, thank you for coming here. Thank you, guys. It. Love you guys. Uh, this is great. I've all, Yeah, this is huge. Have a pretty, I love the podcast. Have a pretty big fan base. Yeah, no, I. <laughs> thank you for letting me. Uh, a million downloads a month. When did you break your <laughs> lenses? A little while ago. Wait, but not like today. Then just no, happened no. today. Okay. Well, no. you don't have money to fix it. I do. No, how much does that cost? I, I, I. Uh, how much does it cost? I, I have another pair that I use. How much does it cost to fix that? Uh, pro- pro- probably not a lot. I'll, how much? I'll, I'll how fix much? Them. I'll, I'll, I'll fix them here. How much? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you a fucking question. You fucking it, Bean. I don't know what. <laughs> I can't call him Bean. What's your Look Venmo? Look up Lens Crafters. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. your no Venmo? Play. People actually <laughs> give money. Some girl gave her Venmo and they sent her money. <laughs> I'm going to say something racist now. Can I? No. Go no. for it. Bad Why do you have to refry? Why do you have to refry the bean? It's already fried once. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good question oh. though. Maybe they forgot. They like, forgot the yeah. first time. But hey, why do you? Hey, do it again. You know, you're, you're, I already fried it. Well, just do it again, dude. See what happens. What accent is that? <laughs> I'm curious. Do an Asian accent. I, I don't know. Do try, 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 try your best. I don't know. No, try, try, try. Bobby. <laughs> okay, that's, good. that's it. Jesus, everyone. I think he is the most abrupt. Thank you guys. Ever. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, yeah, go uh, take her. She just went down. Do we need down, to though. come back later, Dwarf? For, okay, good? yeah. I'm, I'm going to stop calling ask? it house cleaning because someone's like, why are you saying house cleaning? It's housekeeping. I'm like, Should we say it. housekeeping? Well, that's ours is different from everyone else. It's house cleaning. We're we'll be our, right back. Fuck you guys. Be right back? Okay, yeah. we'll be back. Hello. We are back for some house, house cleaning, cleaning slash housekeeping. But I think no, I like no, house no. Clean. Cleaning. Cleaning because we're cleaning. Uh, also, what is the problem, guys? House cleaning, housekeeping, same fucking meaning. What's it? Well, how do you say it in Tagalog? Let's Tagalog. see if we can rebrand this this ending thing. I don't know what like the just cleaning. repeat it twice. Yeah, like I mean, Bisaya <laughs> is just it like twice. it's the same as Spanish when you say like limpio, like to clean. So limpio. Limpio, limpio. Limpio, <laughs> limpio. And when you say sigi, sigi, <laughs> we'll be back with some sigi, sigi. I don't know what is it in Tagalog. I don't speak Tagalog as Basaya. well. Basaya. Okay, Basaya. It's li- yeah. It's limpio is a verb, so. Limpio. We'll be back with some limpio. Limpios balay. Limpio, yeah, limpio balay. <laughs> in Spanish, George? Limpiando. Limpiando yeah, la casa. Limpiando. Well, we don't limpiando have la andos casa. in the. The casa. Uh, so, George, anything? A uh, quick shout out to uh, Rebecca Nand wow. on uh, YouTube comments. I don't know. It was just. It warmed my soul. She just said, uh, it's insane how much this podcast means to me. And, you know, maybe compared to the other, uh, the other comments, that would, uh, that would, I liked it. So thank you, Rebecca. I, uh, it's what I needed. And, uh, yeah, thanks to our, uh, sponsors. So, uh, mm. check out, uh, movement.com slash belly, blueapron.com slash belly, and meundies.com slash belly. Hashtag George Clooney, mm-hmm. Chris Hansen, mm-hmm. Anderson Cooper. Hashtag AC360. Right. Tweet us if you think the Russians are spying. <laughs> Fucking CNN. I, I went to Trader Joe's 
right before um, we recorded this podcast. And I want to do a shout out to the um, girl who came up to me at the cash register uh, who had to see me in all of my crusty ass glory. You know how when you go to the store and you're like, oh, I'm going to I'm not going to run into anyone. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to go in and out of there. Usually in my head, I'm like, I'm, I, I don't want to run into anyone from my past. I never actually Is that think. a fear? I think everyone thinks about that once in a while. Like on the day that I look like dog shit, the likelihood of meeting, you know, my ex-boyfriend's current girlfriend mm-hmm. is very high. That's just how life mm-hmm. works. Mm-hmm. So uh, shout out to her for having to, um, I was extra crusty at Trader Joe's. Muta? Um, probably some muta. Um, just like seriously, my yeah, and, and you know the really bright white lights. So shout out to you, and ho- sorry that I, that um, my face was. But also shout way. out to the cash, uh, the cashier who asked Kalila, "Are you do you, what do you, do you make uh, YouTube uh, makeup videos?" <laughs> no, because when she said hi to me, she's like, "Hi, Kalila," and then I turned around and I was like, "I'm so sorry you have to see me like this. I'm so sorry." And so the cashier was like. Are you a makeup uh, blogger? Because <laughs> she just assumed that I'm apologizing for not having makeup because yeah. I usually have it. I was like, um, I guess if it was up to Gilbert, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Once again, tweet us if you think Lila should start a makeup. I don't, you, I don't know how to makeup put makeup channel, on. Even though she doesn't really use it. but I, I mean, I do. I just don't know how to put it on currently. Oh, my God. God. Googie. Hi. Uh, I'll do a shout out to let's just go a random one. Uh, this guy on my Instagram, David Iron ninety seven, who texted me a picture uh, and said, "Sorry, bro, I know you wanted it. It is um, they casted Beast Boy, and uh, he it's a picture of a handsome Asian guy. So thank you for reminding me that." <laughs> David Iron ninety seven. Uh, any reverse shout outs? Mm-hmm. Let me see what I want to do. A reverse <laughs> who do <shout> I hear? <laughs> who are my enemies of this week? Um, George, you've never done a reverse shout out. Yeah, George, nah. come on. He's too positive. Also, I think I'm too positive. So. Am I the only one who does reverse shout outs? Yeah. Oh, Any negativity on. towards me is humorous, so I don't care. <laughs> uh, I don't think you're being true to yourself. I see you cry in the corner. <laughs> I see those tears fall, George. Reverse shout out to your outfit. <laughs> we were all on. Bo- we we're all not on board. Then we all got on board, and now yeah, slowly... I think this is bullshit. What you're doing, right? You so lied. You. This is what I don't like about what you're doing. You come oh. in and you're like, you know what? I'm doing an all white thing, and we were resistant. But after a while, after the we third week, you're like, you know what, George? This works. And then all of a I sudden, never, I don't remember hearing that, but keep going. Last week, then Bobby say, you know what? This works. He did yeah, say that. Uh, that, and I agree. The second half of that. Yeah. And then. Here you are reintroducing color back into your life. And now I'm thinking that you're not a consistent person. Stick yeah. with a white. You can't do brown leather boots. You can't do leather belt. And you could certainly can't do a rainbow fucking scarf. <laughs> this ain't no rainbow. That's some rainbow ass shit. You cannot. You do white, you do white. It's very bohemian. Yeah. Let's be honest. Also, my birthday present to you involves a lot of white. And I'm thinking you're not going to stick to it. Oh, I'm sticking to it. Oh, I no, this is, a, this is a uniform. I've just, I like a long time ago, I thought like I should have a uniform and then like i don't know a month ago i was thinking like why don't i have one yet yeah why not just do something so uh because it, you it eliminates the thought when you wake up in the morning you yeah. just wake up put on whatever's clean uh today i finally did laundry for the first time in a month and a half so you can go that long without oh, yeah. doing laundry wow do you have that many clothes and panty how uh, many panty you have i wear like you know if you i wear you I, do you side a side b no, today I finally had to like go commando, <laughs> and I was like, okay, I am completely out of underwear. Really, a month and a half—so yeah. much clothes. Wow, I run out like in lot. three weeks, maybe. Well, I'm well, wearing the same outfit every day. I got like five, uh, five button ups and uh, one pair of jeans. Yeah, but how it's can easy. you last if you go a month and a half? Then that would mean you would need uh, flip flops some of the time. No, I'm talking your your clothes. Fl- uh, clothes or underwear? Your your shirts and stuff well you don't need to wash your jeans i guess yeah they're gray yeah yeah but you gotta wash your tops and stuff it's gonna be you know amoy powies <laughs> by the way this is a tagalog lesson <laughs> one conversational <laughs> for anyone that's interested in learning the filipino language um i um <coughs> i can't go a week without laundry just because i don't have that many panties panty yeah i need panties can you guys send me panties 
<laughs> me undies please. okay if you guys send me panties i don't like lace i like full coverage granny 5000s and it, the 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 vagina part has to be cotton or i will not wear She'll it for seven days yeah it's true also i like me undies also me undies <laughs> but in general probably. if like those those old school hanes ones yeah. the, the men's briefs you like those those are my favorite small it doesn't do anything for my sex life but it does a lot for my soul small or medium uh small small and a thick band as long as it's just really like ugly and now you're being demanding that's I'm, true just accept the band for what it is We're, yeah 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 I'm uh, into it. anything else um you'd like to share i'd like to share um that i think that cowboy cerrone should not be fighting every three months Ooh, quick mma minute with kalala <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what that's, that was my <laughs> that was my ten seconds of the week. Ever made ten seconds with Kalila? That's just the, we should always try to do ten seconds. Have a yeah. thought. <laughs> I mean, you do what you want with your career and your body, but I think that he's um, uh, he needs to rest. I think, don't you? What do Even you think? that, but I mean, he's thirty three now. The guy has so many fights. He could be hitting that point now where he's leaving that that prime. That like he can still fight, obviously. But I'm saying like you know the age is getting there. Maybe he's not as motivated. Um, I mean, if you're fighting every three months, you're motivated. Or he just likes the, the money. To pick up the paycheck. Because he really doesn't care about getting a belt, you know? Yeah, but I also think that, you know, he's putting, he's potentially putting himself in, like, harm's way, you know, double the amount than other fighters are That's by true. taking fight after fight after fight. You know, you, you need to recover and rest just even mentally. mm but he also is a badass. I mean, like He's if there's, a killer. yeah. And props to him. I just, I just want him to like take a nap or something. Take a rest. <laughs> also, yeah, like really take your time for sure because that's three losses in a row. That's crazy. Yeah, but he'll forever be. He's cowboy. Like, I think that he'll always gain the respect of everybody because he's, you know, cowboy. He's paid his dues and he's like shown us the best fights ever. Shout out to Darren Till though. Yeah. I like. That he looked guy. really loose. He looked great. That was it. Almost looked easy. Yeah, I know. And That's why I was sad. like, Ooh. and he's so big. Is he going up to middleweight? No, he's just a true one seventy. Remember, Cowboy is one fifty five going up to one seventy. So that's why it looked like that. But also, Darren Taylor is he? He looked thick. Yeah, he is. He he's a big boy. Thick. And that's our MMA minute. Wait, just one fight. One, oh wait, fight. did you did you watch a Carolina fight? Yeah, I saw the highlights, but those knees. I saw the the knees and the highlights. Yeah, it was pretty lopsided. She destroyed Escabel. I for sure would rather take a punch to the face than a knee. Punch I don't the... want any. <laughs> I will take nothing. Yeah, I don't even want a thwack from any of those guys. Oh, thwacks. Um, but that's all we have for this week, guys. You can follow me on all forms of social media at Calamity K. And George Kimmel at George underscore Kimmel. And you can follow Tiger Belly at Tiger Belly on oh. uh, Twitter at the Tiger Belly and email us any questions at the Tiger Belly at gmail dot com. Oh, one more announcement. Um, in honor of George's um, birthday, which is the day that this podcast is going to air, I'm going to ask all my wonderful you're friends just, and family of the Slept gonna, Kingdom to ask. stop. We're going to put an end. We're going to let the whole George and Jessica die, die a permanent death through uh, off a cliff. But no you, have more to give them, you have to give them something to replace it with. You got to like uh, idle hands or the devil's. Uh, you could do guilt tits forever. Yeah, you can guilt, do guilt tits. tits. Or, or follow the fan page on Instagram, Gil Knits. It's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, actually a, someone made an Instagram dedicated to me in knitting. I have no idea what it means. Have, yeah. they, have they posted anything? I, I don't love know. it. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I love the uh, concept. I don't know what it is. Like, yeah. What do you post? Just me and. Gilbert Knits. Just, uh, it's just, Gil Knits, post something. Yeah, post yeah. something. Like maybe it's just Photoshop pictures of old ladies with my face on it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Follow that. Yeah. Hashtag guilt it. So we're replacing that. And if I, I, I need it, I think, to die. I think what happened was I initially thought it was really funny. But then after a while, I was like, okay, I'm over it. Hashtag, I take that back. No hashtag guilt it. Put hashtag George Nothing. and Jessica forever on my stuff. Do you want to punch? <laughs> do you want to punch the frog out of that throat? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it's my real voice. <laughs> oh, man. It's my favorite when people get a bubble in their throat. Uh, what is that? Like, they, they persevere and they just keep talking like it's just going to fucking. I actually didn't. I usually notice. I didn't notice at that time until you said it. And I realized yeah. it just flab jammed in my throat. Well, a frog lives in George's throat. <laughs> so. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you? What are you? Come on now. What are you talking about? My name is George. I'm George. George Kimmel, the frog. 
<laughs> I wear white all the time. I love Jessica. No, so no more hashtags, you guys. Way to way to keep it going there, Gilbert. You're Sorry, we're, we're, I mean, right, don't do it. Don't right do it. in the middle of don't let's do let it. it die. Gilbert's like, no, I can't let it die. Don't know, die. Yeah, yeah. Let's yes. put it right here. Gilbert. As, yeah, as of today, it dies a permanent death. Say eulogy right now. Wait, hold on, you guys. Th- you're making me look bad just by sticking my arm out like this. You're supposed okay. to put no, your. Yeah, hey. what, what are you doing? Is that a <laughs> what that type a of half? 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 <laughs> well, it's gonna look bad. Okay, put a finger <laughs> no, on. I'll do it. A eulogy. Go. Eulogy to the. Jordan you, Bush. you, you. Dear friends and family. Dear friends and family. We are gathered here today to honor the death of a love that will never be. R.I.P. Hashtag George and Jessica forever. Boom. Amen. Go team. Go team. Yeah. Uh, that's our show, everyone. <laughs> we know you love it. What else do we talk at the end? <laughs> we could change it to our... Um, no, because you can't do R.I.P. George and Jessica. Like, they die. That'd be like, oh, people are like, oh, shit. What if George's mom saw that? Oh, my God, my son died. <laughs> uh, that's our show, guys. But it is George's birthday, so if you do want to start a new hashtag, it's hashtag happy birthday, George. Oh, and birthday. send him panties because apparently he only does laundry every month and a half and yeah. his chonies yeah, are... This was the longest I've gone in a while, but yeah. Where can we send George uh, birthday gifts, Kalila? Um, to 1626 North Wilcox Avenue, number 161, Hollywood, California, 90028. Boom. Have a good day, everyone. Ba'al. Ba'la'am. Paalam. Let's say Paalam. 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 Tiger Bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>